Welcome to my new series, which I'm going to call Quick Scripts. And in this series, first of all, we, I'm going to show the quick script that we can create. And in this script, what we're going to do is basically going to delete the newest node that we just created. So this necessity for me became when, let's say, I was just modeling something. So I just delete it now. Let's say my that extrude, extrude, and let's say I wanted to bevel it like that. But sometimes I just miss, miss press the button, and so the beveling I actually start to let's say I start to extrude it, like ah I I screwed up and now I have to delete the node, and so with this script you can just press on it and it's basically going to delete the very very last node that you had. So realistically, let's say you model in viewport. You can see that always is going to be selected the next node that you just create. So with this script, you can basically just delete it as much as you want. You're basically going to delete the newest node that we just created and go up until the until until there's nothing on this button. And I press it. It's basically just going to frame the selection. So and for something some bigger node selection. So let's go in here. Basically, if I I'm cool about this. I can also delete from anywhere in a Houdini, so I don't have to be in a new in the network view. I can just be inside here in a scene view. As I saw I, I messed up. I need to get rid of this node. I just press the script and that's it. So let's say maybe this is not working out, and I do not want to just go and delete it. Script and I'm gonna delete it and that's it. So it's also going to frame the selection. So this kind of a, you can also disable the frame selection. I'm going to show how, but the most basic is just going to start delete. So, and for something that has multiple inputs, inputs, it's basically going to delete the very. It's going to go to the very first, the very first connection. So I press script. You can see it's basically deleted it and it went to the boolean since the boolean was very first connection. Let's delete it, boolean, and then it's going to go to box one like that. And if there's nothing connected, it's basically not going to do anything like that. And for the actual installation, all you have to do is just copy the script that I have pasted inside the description and go into, you can create a new shell and just create a new tool and just paste inside script like that. So I'm going to delete this one. So here it is, I'm going to edit tool. You can see this is basically the script. Now what you can do is then just give it a name, a label, and then just assign it to a hotkey. So for me, it's a shift delete. So for me, it's very convenient for the shift delete because in CI, as always, I always use the delete like that, and I still can use it. But let's say I am inside here, I just can delete it like that with a shift delete. And yeah, that's it. So I did not put any render flags on it. So what you could do with the script I always kind of go back and forth with it if I want also for these deleted nodes also put down a render flags or the display flag so inside here let's say starting the deletes you can see it's not going to put any display flags because I, I kind of go back and forth with it so for render flags I don't really want to put it in but for display you can actually if you really want to well for me it's mostly used for one time modeling and I just screwed something up so I know it's going to have a render flag and display flag on it automatically. And if I delete it right here, it's going to automatically put it inside here. And also some of these nodes actually connect, cannot actually have a, a display flag on it. So, but you can use this one inside basically anywhere because the current node is everywhere. So let's say I have nothing selected, I press on it, it's going to select the current node like that. And it's also going to start deleting it. So, I'm just going to connect these like that. See, even not in a, once you're not in a geo, you can just delete it. It's basically divided into parts. Basically, what happens when you have one node selected, and what happens when you have none or more select or one, uh, zero or more than one selected. So first of all, the most common one is going to basically be once you have one selected. So what we have in here is pretty basic thing. So one thing to make sure note it that basically if you have multiple 
multiple network tabs opened, you have to know that by default it's going to be a zero. So basically the first tab that you had opened up. So what I'm going to do is actually close it, this one. And let's say we ha I have only one tab at all from any of these. So from any of the Houdini, I have only one network tab. So by default it's going to work out like that. So, but let's say I have a, another one and open up in here. I'm going to frame the selection. You can see it's still going to just work on this one, in this one. But let's say I want to actually, I, let's say I want for this to be my main one that is going to actually delete and center the selection. How can we do it? Well, basically we have to give it, we have to give it back a zero. Uh, we have to give it back zero index. So this network editor, you would think that you could maybe change the index to one. It actually doesn't work like that. So what I like to do is just put down the zero like that. And let's say I want and for me to give this in give this pad this tab to give index zero, I'm just going to close this one. And that's it. And now this one has index zero. And it's going to always frame it. And if I open up another one inside here, it's still going to have a index zero. So now I have given this an index zero and I can use it as a main one like that. And this is not anymore. So if I want it work for this one as a main one, I'm just going to close this one. And now this is the zero. So basically this all is going to be a network network you opened. So it's probably going to work for you just fine. And that's how you can kind of uh, move around if you want to. The framing and the deletion cup in this one. And then maybe in other ones you just want Maybe you are using it as an overview for the overall objects like that. A very small one like that. So it doesn't frame both of them like that. So that's one thing to note. That's it for this video. I hope you see, see you next time. I'm sorry for the rare uploads. I've just been very busy with the everything else and with, and with Python. So I think now I can actually make more regular videos with the scripting and stuff like that. So... See you next time and take care.